Welcome to my channel, Deham Music. In this video, we will dive into the enchanting novel, The Loyal Pin. The Loyal Pin is set in 1950s Thailand and tells the love story of Princess Anilapat, Anin, played by Becky Armstrong, and Pilantita, Pin Kun Pin, played by Frayn Sarocha. The two have been close since childhood, but when Anin turns 14, she leaves to study abroad, separating from Kun Pin for many years. Despite the distance, their bond only grows stronger through letters, where they share stories about their lives and growing feelings for each other. When Anin returns to Thailand, she sets out to win Kun Pin's heart, but their love faces many obstacles. In a time when only men and women can marry, and with their difference in status, Anin, a princess, and Pin, an orphaned noblewoman, society stands in their way. Will their love survive these challenges? Let's cherish their unique relationship, the captivating storyline, and the emotional depth of the novel. Don't miss every chapter by subscribing me now. The story starts with Princess Anilafat and her friend Prik picking plums from a tree. Princess Anilafat, also known as Princess Anil, is a bit mischievous. One day, while they were picking plums, Princess Anil fell, and they were afraid of being caught by Kun Prachon, a palace official. This is when Princess Anil met Lady Pilantita, or Lady Pin. Lady Pin helped heal her wounds, and despite their differences in personality, they became close friends. Their bond grew stronger even with the strict palace rules. Lady Pin's daily life involved going to school and carrying out tasks assigned by her aunt, Princess Padmika, her father's sister who adopted her. However, Princess Padmika didn't approve of Lady Pin going to school with Princess Anil, but Lady Pin usually followed the princess's lead. At school, Princess Anil easily fit in with her friends while Lady Pin quietly watched from a distance. Lady Pin also helped her aunt with chores and kept a diary of her thoughts. The chapter ends with Princess Anil giving Lady Pin a caterpillar, asking her to raise it until it became a butterfly. This created a shared experience between them, deepening their friendship. Princess Anil later invited Lady Pin to sneak out to a temple fair behind the palace. Lady Pin was hesitant, but eventually agreed, and they went along with Prick. At the fair, they tried new foods like cotton candy, but their fun was cut short when Peepern, a palace steward, told Lady Pin to return to the palace at her aunt's request. Despite Princess Anil's efforts to explain, they had to go back. Lady Pin faced the consequences for sneaking out, and Princess Padmika scolded her. Princess Anil tried to take the blame, but Princess Padmika punished Lady Pin with three lashes and a week of detention. However, Princess Anil insisted on sharing the punishment, so both were locked in the reading room all day. While in the reading room, Lady Pin was focused on her tasks while Princess Anil drew and distracted her with jokes. Despite her initial frustration, Lady Pin slowly softened towards Princess Anil's playful nature. Later, Princess Anil asked to stay overnight in Lady Pin's room, pretending she needed help with her studies. With the approval of the King and Princess Padmika, they allowed her to stay. The two shared stories, laughed, and grew even closer. Lady Pin found a handkerchief she had given to Princess Anil under her pillow. Despite Lady Pin trying to take it back, Princess Anil insisted on keeping it, creating an emotional moment between them. The next big event was Prince Anon, Princess Anil's brother, returning from studying law abroad. Princess Padmika was in charge of preparing the food, but Princess Anil and Prick couldn't resist sneaking snacks from the kitchen. At the reception, Princess Anil and Lady Pin danced together, sharing a graceful and emotional moment. Later, 
Lady Pin felt sad after learning that Princess Anil would be sent abroad to study. Princess Anil noticed Lady Pin's distress and comforted her, leading to an emotional moment where Lady Pin broke down, expressing her fear of being apart. Prick then delivered letters from Princess Anil to Lady Pin while she was away. Lady Pin cherished these letters, but when they started coming less frequently, she grew sad. However, her joy returned when she received a postcard from Princess Anil, which made her feel connected to her friend, despite the distance. Finally, something big was happening near Lady Pin's home. They were clearing the yard to build a palace for Princess Anil when she returned from studying abroad. Lady Pin remembered Princess Anil's wish for a small wooden palace surrounded by pine trees, which made her reflect on their friendship.